Good morning. It's not raining at the moment. Trying to rainproof my broken rain trousers. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the normal preparation, you know? Yeah. This is the second pair of rain trousers I've had. These things just aren't built to last. Luckily, we have this magic white tape. <laughs> yeah, a big roll as well. Yeah. I'm not getting wet shins today. Let's hope for the best. I'm going all in today. <laughs> I think that looks great. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, so Bumblebee's all packed up and ready to go. And it hasn't started raining yet, which is awesome. But we've got one issue, and that is that we need to see if Bumblebee will start up this morning. Bumblebee's battery has not been great. We've had a lot of trouble starting up, and we've had to jump start it like two times already. So yeah. it could be the third time this morning. Ready? Okay, let's go to neutral. Yes! Oh, I think this new technique that I'm doing, where I just don't give up, I'm just like, go, 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 go. But you could hear that it was like, really struggling. Go, 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 go! Let's go! Okay, that's really good, that's really good. It means we can hit the road and at least start the morning a little bit dry. Connected, connected, connected. Connected, connected, connected. 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 By the way, your trousers, they're looking really great. Thank you. Okay, three, two, one. All right, are you ready to start the morning? I'm absolutely ready. Good, good, good. Let's do it. Oh, and look at this morning. Seriously, the last two days, it was rain, 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 24 seven. And this morning, just as we are leaving, Nearly sunshine! <laughs> <laughs> I like how you call this nearly sunshine. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely better than it's been over the last few days. I didn't even want to leave the room. It was so miserable. Yeah, totally. But yeah, if we can at least have a, a few hours riding without the rain, then I'll be happy. But I think we're going to get wet today. Let's see, fingers crossed, eh? So we are here and today we are heading into the Alps and crossing over the border from Italy into Austria. When you look on the map, you can see that we are at the very, very beginning point of the Alps. And where we're going to is nearly all the way on the other side. So we have a lot of mountain valleys to cross. Originally, our plan was to do three or four mountain passes. But by looking at the temperatures, we were like, no, we can't do it. It's frost up there. Yeah. And because of all the rain over the last couple of days, it's yeah. most likely been snowing on the passes. And these passes like Stelvio Pass and Grodno Joch, um, they're really, really high altitude passes. This time of year, there's just no chance that we're going to be able to do that safely. Another reason to return back in the summer. Exactly. <laughs> wow, look at this church. Yeah, this area here is just stunning. So charming, really. Yeah, I've never seen... I was going to say I've never seen a more picturesque place, but in Italy, I have seen equally picturesque places. But outside of Italy, I've never seen a more picturesque place. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> look at this lake. Even on a gloomy, cloudy day, there's still a charm to it. Hey, there's still a charm. Yeah. So whilst we're cruising the shoreline of this beautiful lake, 
I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of info about the famous Lago di Garda. Lake Garda is actually the largest lake in Italy with a surface area of 142 square miles bordering on the Italian Alps. The average depth of the lake is 136 meters but the deepest part is 346 meters deep. Known in Roman times as Benacus, the modern name came into use in the Middle Ages and is named after the Germanic settlement of Garda, which is along the shore of the lake, which means place of guard or place of safety. The lake is now an incredibly popular holiday destination with 22 million visitors a year and with stunning mountainous views and historical picturesque towns, it's really not hard to see why. Oh no, we've got some rain coming already. We are 20 minutes in. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I think we're just about to go to a tunnel though. It's a perfect rain protection for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's always tunnel, rain, tunnel, rain. Oh, and back in the rain. <laughs> Luckily, we have all of our rain trousers and rain jackets on, eh? And a lot of tape. <laughs> a lot of tape. A lot of bin bags. Oh, look at these uh, terraces. Yeah, it's really interesting, hey? It looks like that they are made for fruit trees. Yeah. But you can see them all over the place here um, at Lake Garda. Cool. Yeah, cool. Time to take off the media mod, so we'll see you guys in a bit. So it's our first break of the day. We've done just under 50 miles and it's still raining. My bin bag idea isn't working very well. My trousers are wet, my, my bum is wet. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's gonna get sunny anytime soon, so... Oh well, another three hours to go. So we just tried to start the bike, but literally no power at all i can't even see the dashboard i can't see anything it's super strange because we only stopped for like 10 minutes so i really don't understand what's happened but there's nothing at all that's really annoying okay yeah we're going to have to open it up and uh we're gonna have to see if we can jump start it again weird because it started this morning so good Let's go in. No problem. No problem! No problem last! <laughs> Thank you Bumblebee for be always there for us.
It's horrible. What a rainy and horrible ride. So Lavi's just gone into Lidl to get us something for dinner. And um, I'm just having a hot coffee and hiding for a little bit. It has been a miserable ride. Since about 20 minutes in, it hasn't stopped raining. <sighs> Man, I love little. So I bought some rocket. So tasty, I love it so much. For one euro. Nothing like rocket on a rainy day, eh? Yeah. Very nice bread, sourdough bread. Nice. Oh, tortellini, ricotta and spinach. Yes, for one euro 20. Oh, what's that? Whoa. Yeah. We are back in vegetarian land. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And it's zucchini. <laughs> A little bit random, but we want to be healthy. It's really funny because yesterday I said, oh, we can just do another wild camping day because the prices here in this area are super, super expensive. But <laughs> looking at this weather, I don't think that we are so hardcore. So we actually just booked the accommodation one hour away from here. It was the most expensive accommodation of the trip so far, but... It's going to be worth it. Apparently, they might even have a sauna, which on a day like today sounds absolutely amazing. So yeah, we have one hour more to ride in the rain. Then we have a nice, cozy Airbnb waiting for us. first like painted houses like this I've ever seen. Yes, we made it! <laughs> it is still raining. Oh my lord. Willkommen to Wolfenia. Sauna. Oh, I so hope there's a sauna. I'm so incredibly wet and cold. Like my idea here with the spin bags didn't work at all. That was a really, really terrible ride. Yeah, it's time to take off these wet clothes and get warm. So I found the sauna as well, but it was locked. So I've got to message the owner and find out how we can get in that sauna. <laughs> Look, my fingers are all shrinkly. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy the life. <laughs> <laughs> and freezing cold. We sent the guy a message, but he didn't reply. So we don't know if the sauna is still on today or not. We have no idea. We will just wait patiently. We'll just hide under the covers until the owner gets here and opens it up. So I thought we would definitely have some rain today whilst crossing this area of the mountains, but I didn't expect that we'd have rain the whole day. That was like five hours solid riding. It was very, very cold and very, very <laughs> annoying. And like one of the worst rides we had in a long time, hey? Because normally it's always a mix, you know? There's a little bit rain, I can deal with that, it's fine. But just from the morning to the late afternoon, constantly being rained on yeah oh it's just not fun that was pretty much the worst day to get to the mountains yes. i mean we had some beautiful landscapes and some really nice charming little towns especially when we crossed over to austria the villages that we were passing through super charming but hard to appreciate when you're freezing cold we can only hope that tomorrow the weather is a little bit better and then we can see a little bit more of these amazing views here but one criticism 
check out 9.30. <laughs> We're not in Italy anymore. Hello, this is normally when we wake up. 9.30, I think this is like... That's early. I've never seen a check out that early. So that's pretty crazy. But anyway, that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. So the sauna did indeed open and we've just been in and now we're having a nice cup of pebble juice. This is lovely. I'm so warm now. That's oh. nice. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like a river. <laughs> Not just a normal river, an Austrian river.